Question number six says, the diagram below represents a model of a biological process that occurs in humans at normal body temperature, 37 degrees Celsius. The question says, increasing body temperature to 40 degrees Celsius, note up here it said normal body temperature is 37 degrees, would most likely interfere most directly with the rate of function of structure what? Now if we're looking at this picture, it's going to be a picture of synthesis, meaning we're joining two molecules together in order to make a bigger molecule. If I'm looking at A, what I would notice is that A in the first set of pictures, second and third all look identical. Since all of those look identical, that is going to be our enzyme or our catalyst. Now B and C, if you look at those, they actually come together in order to form a larger molecule. B and C could be an example of, let's say, a simple sugar. And when you go and you join those two together through synthesis, they would form something called a starch molecule. So coming back to the question, if I was increase my body temperature, which one probably would not work the way it was supposed to? Remember, an enzyme is really just a specific type of protein. And when you increase body temperature, or if you increase the pH, what's going to happen is that that shape of the enzyme is going to change. If you change the protein shape, then in turn, you've changed the function. So the best answer choice there is going to be one. Continuing on, if we look at number seven, what you're gonna see is a graph, much like the graphs that we looked at earlier in the year. It says the temperature below represents the effect of pH on three different enzymes at normal body temperature. The graph illustrates that enzymes 1, 2, and 3, so what we want to do is we want to look at the graph. Note here it's talking about the relative rate of enzyme activity. And then on the side, this is giving us our pH. Remember, on the right-hand side, a low pH value. Those are going to be acids, so about 0 to 6. And then on the right-hand side, from about 8 to 14, those are going to be bases. Right in the middle, we have 7. 7 is going to be a neutral value in terms of pH. So the graph illustrates that enzymes 1, 2, and 3, this is going to be answer choice 3. They work best at different pH levels. 1 is not true because it says they're not affected by pH. If we look at enzyme 1, enzyme 1 is working best at a pH of about 4. Enzyme 2 is working best at about a pH of 7, 7.5. And then the third enzyme is working best at a pH of 11. 2 doesn't make sense there because it says it works best in an acidic environment. No, really an enzyme 1 works best in an acidic environment. And the last one says works best in a basic environment. No, really only enzyme 3 is working best in the basic environment. Moving down now to question number eight. Oh, that's it for that one.